This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. I engage with working class folks all the time. Uh, regular Americans. I know a lot of people don't like that phrase, but screw it. I'll put it out there. Just regular folk. People who live day to day. Um, they make enough to survive. They're out there working. They value and treasure their weekends. Take care of their kids. Working class folk. White, black, and brown. They don't tweet. Uh, they don't pay attention to politics every single day. Uh, they are living their lives um, trying to get by uh, and trying to, you know, put out a good life for their kids. Just whatever you want to call them, working class, middle class, regular American folk. Some people call them low information voters. Some people call them lower information voters. I've done that on occasion. You know what? They don't pay attention to politics like you and I do. They don't. They don't pay attention every single day. Once a week, they'll turn on something. Once a week, they'll talk to a buddy. Once a week, they'll go online and look at what's going on in Washington and other parts. Uh, they have lives to live. They also really don't like either party. So many of these working class folk, they don't consider themselves to be Republican or Democrat. They don't really care for either political party. They're living their lives, trying to get by. They pay attention to what's going on politically every now and then when they can. And they don't really care about either political party. For a number of years, I've engaged a lot with these people. And almost universally, this is what they tell me. This is what they've told me. And remember, they don't really like either political party. But they tell me, they've all told me a variation of this, the following. Republicans, Joe, are assholes. Republicans are jerks. But Democrats are like elite snobs who don't understand me and look down on me. Now, I mean to tell you that to a man and a woman, when I ask these folks in the middle, these working class folk, who, again, don't pay attention to politics all the time like you and I do, when I ask them, about both political parties, this is what they tell me. They give me a variation of that. Republicans are assholes, but Democrats are, Democrats are elite snobs who don't understand me, who look down on me. Now, I will tell you, Democrats, that most of these people, when push comes to shove, most of these people will vote for the asshole over the person who doesn't understand them who looks down on them. Most will vote for the asshole. As someone who wants to make certain that Donald Trump doesn't win in 2024, I look, I really want Democrats to fix this, to understand what's going on here. I don't want Democrats to think and believe that this new coalition they've got of young people 
and women coming out because of abortion and people of color and all these wealthy suburban moms that this is going to save them and this will put Biden in the white, this will keep Biden in the White House and that Democrats believe they can somehow win in 2024 and then continue to grow and prosper as a party while they continue to lose these working class folk who think they're a bunch of stuck up elite snoots. That would be a big, big mistake. It's going to take some doing because the issues that these folks care about, these working class regular folk, issues of the border, issues of street crime, issues of the price of this or that every single day, these are issues that Democrats just don't speak to enough. Again, this is meant as advice for the Democratic Party. My former political party is bat shit crazy. Fully radicalized, authoritarian. They are intolerant assholes and they are a direct threat to our democracy. But don't you for a moment, Democrats, think that you don't got issues, big issues in your own house as well because you do, you really do. And maybe, you know, in 2024, maybe you can be saved from having to self-examine your own house, look at your own house, clean your own house, Democrats, because it, once again, in 2024, maybe so many people are caught up again and we got to stop Trump and that'll save your ass. Democrats, maybe it will, maybe it will. I'm not so sure, but you have a problem, Democrats. You've become a party of elite fucks. You have become the party of wealthy suburbanites, elites who live in some of the big cities in this country, and you've lost touch and continue to lose touch with regular working class, white, black, and brown folk. You don't listen to them, you don't engage with them, and you're on the wrong side of, or you don't care about the issues they care about. People coming into this country illegally, crime on the streets, the price of gas, the price of milk, the price of bread. jobs. It should be. You've gotten so caught up, Democrats, in some of what they would call, and they do call them, woke issues. Uh, you've lost touch with the bread and butter issues, Democrats, which is why you've lost touch with these folks. And I think if, if, if Democrats don't fix this, and it's real, I'm sure a lot of Democrats listening to me right now are going to deny it, but it's real. If Democrats don't fix this problem they have connecting with, listening to, uh, um, understanding the problems that working class Americans care about, um, beyond 2024, their parties, the Democratic Party is going to be in real trouble. Um, again, 2024, you know, Trump may save you, uh, um, young women coming out to vote, uh, of the abortion issue may save you, but it won't save you forever. You have a great opportunity, Democrats, to grow as a party because my former political party is so fucked up. but you're not doing that. I'm Joe Walsh. Uh, thank you for listening. I could go on for an hour on this topic, but I won't. Um, uh, have a great weekend. Um,
coming back at you next week with a, a really interesting, cool conversation that you'll like. As always, be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.